Yeah, you're a while back. It has to be within 500 feet. He's reaching across the car. Everything goes in your trifold. And your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Probably because we're in rain right now, dumbass. I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoked weed. I'm not intoxicated. But if you think this driver being arrested is the worst part of this video, you have another shot coming. Welcome everybody to another episode of Delete Laws. Do me a favor, everybody hit the like button. Put down in the comment section, OTVO, Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Just type it in there for me. What you're going to see is absolutely the definition of despotism. I'm also going to be covering We the People, Abaya Israel, the ex-cop who has turned freedom fighter. I'm going to cover a few things about him today. We have to take a look at this. All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm going to read you Miranda, okay? When's the, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before any question, okay? Yes, sir. When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? Who? Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. A legal dispute is currently underway involving an Iowa teenager who took to social media to present evidence of his wrongful arrest by Newton Police Department located in Iowa. The teenager, who is originally from Newton, Iowa, shared body cam footage on YouTube and Facebook which depicts a traffic stop conducted by Newton police officers in August of 2022. The footage clearly shows that the young man had done no wrong. Shortly after midnight, the young man was pulled over by officers Nathan Winters and Lieutenant Chris Wing of the Newton Police Department. They had stopped him for using his high beam headlights while he was on his way home from spending time with a friend. At the outset, Officer Winters asserted that the 19-year-old was fumbling when attempting to provide proof of registration, which raised suspicion of possible alcohol consumption. Additionally, Officer Winters claimed to have detected the odor of alcohol emitting from the driver, along with signs of impairment such as slurred speech and bloodshot watery eyes. However, none of these observations were substantiated by the body cam footage. Hi there. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Officer Winters with the Newton Police Department. The reason I pulled over is because you have your bright lights on. Yeah, but I have a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well, that's not legal. Oh, is it? No. Yeah, I turn on, when, a car, when a car comes by, I turn them off, but like... Well, you didn't with me. You were like, you were close you're while, Yeah, you were a while back. It has to be within 500 feet. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And you're not that. supposed to have your brights on in the city limits. My fault, my fault. You got your license, registration, insurance yeah, with you? Yeah, I got you. Is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Where are you headed? Back home. Where are you coming from? house okay anything to drink over there nope. look what he's doing take a look at what the man is doing we all know about anthony allegrini from a month ago that i covered his story he was killed in june he's reaching into a dark glove box he's reaching across the car everything goes in your trifold you need one of these right here yeah i mean that's a good start that's the registration you got your insurance yeah yeah i got you would it be that white card uh could be your registration, proof of insurance, and your ID go on a laminated card. Your license is a photocopy of your license with the back plain as day. It goes in this card. This card then slips right into your trifold. Everything then goes up in your visor. Your license, your registration, your proof of insurance, everything you need is right there. No reaching around, no the cop going, well, that's a good start. Oh, this insurance card's expired. You don't want to deal with the jackboot thug pig. You want everything up in your visor right there. You have it all rubber banded in right up in your visor. Everything's up in your visor. Then you give him your license, registration, and proof of insurance. And then you give him the card. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. That's one that expired in 21. I got the email version. All right, that'll work. I'm gonna have you hop out with me, okay? Cool. We're gonna go back here, okay? Cool. You don't have anything on you? No bombs, guns, drugs? No bombs or no drugs. Okay, let's go back here. I'm gonna have you have a seat in my passenger seat, okay? Awesome. Where are you coming from? Back by, uh, his name is Crayon. It's a friend's house. Okay. It says on your trifold, don't ask me where I'm going. He answered the question, why? Now his next question is, where's home? 
What are you doing at Creighton's house? We were just hanging out. Just getting back from college. Okay. Go to William Penn. Okay. Play football up there? Yes, sir. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. What do you mean none? I had nothing to drink. Okay. Why would you, uh, why would your eyes be watery and bloodshot? Hmm? Do you want to blow me real quick? I don't want to blow you. Us. I got contacts. I've had nothing to drink. Okay. So your movements in the car with you fumbling over the registration kind of say otherwise. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Great, let's, let's do a test then. So Officer Winters thinks I'm drinking tonight. We're about to do a test and he's going to find out I had nothing to drink. He's going to look stupid. Alright, so I want you to put your left foot on the line. Okay. Take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot just like this. Okay. So from this position, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps, touching heel to toe each time, keeping your arms down to your side, okay? Turn by taking a series of small steps, turn and take nine heel to toe steps Wait, back. One, back around? two, three, just like I did. Any problems with your ankles, knees, hips, or back? Just my right ankle. What's wrong with your right ankle? It messes up your football. Okay, does it prevent you from walking? Just a little bit, but I'll be able to do this. Okay, does it hurt right now? Nope. Okay. I have all my weight in my left foot right now. All right, how many steps did I say to take? Like eight or nine? I said nine. Why'd you take 14 and then 15? Uh, take a series of small steps. Stop walking. 13 steps. Do you have any questions? Nope. All right, during this, keep your arms down to your side. Why are you shaking so much? It's freezing, man. Look at you. You got all these clothes on, and I got shorts on, and it's raining. Are we Let's at blow, the let's blow real quick. Stop doing all these damn tests. Let's blow. Let's get to business. If you pay close attention, you will notice that the officer inquired with his lieutenant about whether 15 minutes had passed. The reason behind this inquiry is that law enforcement officers are required to monitor the driver for a minimum of 15 minutes to ensure the accuracy of the PBT, preliminary breath test. The PBT is a roadside chemical test designed to measure a person's blood alcohol content commonly recognized as a breathalyzer. However, a breathalyzer is conducted using a larger, more reliable machine. PBT laws authorize police officers to administer this test before making an arrest to assess if there is sufficient evidence for a DUI. It's essential to note that these tests can yield false positives if an individual has recently used a substance like a mouthwash or a breath spray. As some of these products contain alcohol, it's not surprising that if someone has recently used a mouthwash with a high alcohol content, the breath test may detect residual traces of alcohol. Let's go to the front of the car here. Let's do this low. Zero, zero. Wait for it. Hey, why are you scared? No, because you're showing some very strong signs of impairment. Am I? I can assure you, as a former police officer, as a field training officer, and as an officer who was certified to conduct field sobriety tests that there were no indications that this driver was impaired at all. But if you think this driver being arrested is the worst part of this video, you have another shot coming. You must watch to the end. All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm gonna read you Miranda, okay? When's the Right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before any question, okay? Yes, sir. When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? No. Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. Jasper's like What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. So I blow zero. Okay. Why is your field? Why is your field sobriety so poor? What? Why is your field sobriety so poor? And why are you so lethargic and slow moving and speaking with a slurred speech? I'm and your eyes are watery speech. and your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Probably because we're in rain right now, dumbass. Uh, it doesn't affect them in the car or in my car. Well, I don't know what you're seeing because I can't even see my eyes. I blew zero. Now you're me on drugs right now. Okay. So um, I spoke with the drug recognition expert and he said that he's willing to do it. Thanks so much for being willing to check me for drugs, even though I was just driving down the road doing nothing wrong. And now I'm getting hemmed up having to do a bunch of tests in the rain. I haven't committed any traffic violations other than having my high beams on because one of my lights is off. But now I'm just getting put through the through the through the workout here and I haven't done anything. Uh, drug influence evaluation on you. 
Um, we would have to go up to the PD right now. Yep. I don't want to do that right now. You don't want to do it right now? Uh, Why not? Because you have me out in this damn rain. For we would go to the PD where it's. Well, I dry. don't want to do that. I don't want to do that now. I want to go home. You okay. Wasted, you wasted my time. Turn Wait. around for two minutes, back. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I'm not intoxicated. So, my name's Drew. I uh, work here at the police department. All right, so it sounds like you got traffic stopped. Yep. So, here's where I come in, right? Yep. Um, I have different certifications than officer winners. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm called a, I have a drug recognition expert um, certification. Yes, sir. Um, so, my training, um, it does involve field sobriety. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask you to do some of the stuff you've already done. The official purpose of roadside field sobriety tests or FSTs is to evaluate DUI suspects impairment both physically and mentally. A suspect impaired by alcohol often will have difficulty multitasking as such tests require. Cues or clues that officers are looking for during the walk and turn test are the driver can't keep his or her balance during instructions. They start too soon. He or she stops walking. The driver misses heel to toe, steps off the line. He or she uses their arms for balance, improper turn, or incorrect number of steps. And the clues for the one leg stand test are the suspect sways while balancing. The suspect moves their arms six or more inches from the side of the body in order to keep their balance, hopping, or putting their foot down. If an individual shows two or more clues or fails to complete the one leg stand, there is a good chance they are impaired. In this video, this driver completed every task perfectly. Test conditions must meet the following. Reasonably dry, hard level and non slippery surface. As we witness, it was a wet, uneven, unbalanced surface. Bottom line up front, uh, we're going home tonight, okay? I don't think you're, I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Check this out. I'm going to read this. So, the team that was falsely arrested in this video filed a lawsuit. But in response to the teenager's lawsuit, the Newton Police Department filed a lawsuit against the teenager. It was a response, and they stated, Due to his comments and the body cam footage being posted, Winters, who is the officer, Wing, who is the lieutenant, are now part of a defamation counterclaim to the teen's initial federal lawsuit. So they are countersuing the teen for posting the body cam footage online. Furthermore, the city claimed that Winters and Wing, the officer and the lieutenant, have suffered and will continue to suffer mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, loss of community reputation, and loss of employability. If that is not surprising <laughs> enough, you falsely arrest the team. You make something out of nothing. This team was nowhere near being intoxicated, nor was he under the influence of any drug. You falsely arrest him, but then you are going to counter sue because he put the false arrest, the body cam footage online. Cops suing the victim for telling their story. So let me jump in here now and talk a little bit about um, Abaya just ever so, so slightly here. So as you guys know, I don't support cops. I, I, <laughs> I mean, if you're here on my channel, welcome everybody to delete laws. Thanks for coming to the channel. I don't support cops. I don't like cops. I don't trust cops. So a lot of people will say to me, Chili, it's the politician. It's the Supreme court that passes a policy that the cop then follows. And my argument is this. You signed up to an organization that uses torture cuffs to restrain people. You didn't have a problem signing up to that organization. I don't support you. I don't like you. I don't trust you. You are a sadist. You are a masochist. Now, Abaya, let me go to his page and show you guys a little bit more about him. We the People University. And so when I initially saw Abaya's channel, I thought, well, here's just another pig who took the badge off and now he can cash in creating a YouTube channel. And so I had all these predetermined judgments about Abaya Israel. 
over the last year of my life, I've had so many interactions with ex cops who have contacted me and told me their story and what they gone through. And you know what? I was wrong. I was wrong. I started to watch Abaya Israel's channel and this man is as passionate as anybody else about change. And so, you know, to Abaya Israel, dude, I'm a big fan of your channel. Uh, I'm not even subscribed. I just got this from We The People. Thanks again, We The People. This has 2 million views from a year ago. I'm gonna subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna throw a like right here for him. You have to have a pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards in your wallet at all times. If you carry your credit cards in your phone, it's the exact same size as your visa, as your driver's license. And these cards, they're made out of the exact same material as a hotel key, your visa card, your driver's license. They don't destroy, it won't melt in your wallet. You need to have a Fifth Amendment driver and non-driver cop card in your wallet. These are the best gift you'll ever give anybody. Thanks, my name is Chilidi Castro and I am Delete Laws.